Hey guys, if you've seen my last video on how to turn your house into a VR play space, I hope everyone's having a fun time with their creations. For others, it hasn't been much of a smooth ride. So I'd like to address some of those issues and hopefully we can find a fix for them. So let's troubleshoot. So the first issue we're going to talk about is the no Android devices connected message when we click build and run. After you have finished placing the scripts and setting up the OSC script with your IP address, it's time to start placing cubes. So we go to file and then click on build and run. We wait for the files to finish uploading to the Quest headset, but then this error message pops up. Uh oh, what are we going to do? If you're getting this error message, it's most likely because your headset is not in developer mode. I'm not going to go into how to put your headset in developer mode because there's tons of videos on YouTube, like this one right here. So just click the link, figure out how to get your headset into developer mode, and then try building and running it again. And hopefully that should fix your problem. After you put your quest into developer mode, go back to Unity and then click on build and run again. Hopefully, this time, it won't get hung up on trying to find your headset, and it should continue on uploading the program to your headset so you can start placing cubes. This one kind of goes together with developer mode, because you can't disable Guardian unless you are in developer mode. This is a real easy fix, though. Once developer mode is activated and you're on your home screen, click on Settings, See All, click on the developer tab and then turn Guardian off. Be aware though that at this point you open yourself up to walking into walls and falling out that open window if you didn't place your cubes correctly. The scripting process can be very finicky and if it's not copied from the website perfectly it will most likely give errors. To simplify the process and save you the headache I placed the scripts in my Google Drive, so just click on the link in the description, download the scripts, and then drag them into your Assets folder in Unity. From there, you can place them where they need to go. I've also seen where even if the script was correct, Unity would not let you place a script on the object. If that happens, delete the script out of the Assets folder and create the script in the Objects Inspector tab here on the right. Click on Add Component, type Script, and then click on New Script. And then type in the name that the script should be. Then once it's added, click on the name of the script where it's grayed out to open it up. Delete the generic info in it. Then open up the script that you downloaded and open that up. Now we're going to copy and paste the script from the downloaded file into the new file that you created on the object itself. Once you paste it, be sure to save and go back to Unity and the file will update itself, hopefully error free. This one is the biggest problem that a lot of people have had issues with. Everything is set up, you go map out your room, only to come back to your computer and see that none of your cubes made their way into Unity. Depending on how big your room is, that was a lot of time that was just wasted. So, assuming all your scripts are placed correctly and your OSC script is correctly set up, with your right IP address and the port number has been changed. Most likely the issue is your firewall is blocking the network connection. I can't say this for every firewall out there, but if you have Windows Defender, this may be a good place to start troubleshooting. 
You'll probably need admin access to temporarily disable your firewall, but to do it, go to your hidden icons, click on Windows Security, click on Firewall and Network Protection, click on Private Network, and then turn off your firewall. If it was a firewall issue, you should now see cubes start appearing in Unity as you place them in your headset. If you've disabled your firewall and you still can't get those cubes, there is one last ditch effort that we can try. I've created a local script that takes the network connectivity out of the equation and you can create cubes locally on your computer. But you have to have your headset connected to your computer through the link cable. So if you have a laptop, that's not such a big deal. Throw your laptop into a backpack and just carry it with you around the room. If you've got a desktop, it's, it's a problem. But you can create cubes and take those cubes and kind of go from there. So it's going to be a lot of trial and error, but it's something. To start the process of local cube creation, we have to put Unity into PC mode. To do this, go to File, click on Build Settings, select PC, Mac, and Standalone, and then click on Build. Once it's finished building, we have to delete the old scripts. So, delete the Network Manager object, and then go to the right-hand anchor and remove the Point Placer script. Next, we will go to my Google Drive to download the local point placer script. Once it's downloaded, place it in the Assets folder. After it is placed in the folder, go to the right-hand anchor and place the new script there. Alright, that does it for the scripting side of the house. Connect your Quest to your computer and enable the Quest link. Once it's enabled, click the play button in Unity. Once it opens up in the headset, you can start placing cues with the B button on your right controller. Don't forget that when you're done, drag the generated map to the assets folder before hitting stop play or else you'll lose your cubes. Alright, well that about covers it for all the majority of the issues that I've been asked. So, if these tips helped you, let me know. If they didn't, or if you run into any other issues, let me know. Other than that, hope you guys have a great weekend.